Hello Tarot Souls, Giselle at Mad Witch here trying to do this part two of my tarot collection for the umpteenth time. Um, these are the units that we have recently acquired to hold my very uh, expanding quickly tarot collection. Um, and I'm going to break this into parts as well because it will be too long otherwise. This is a very, this, the, my small collection of um, Tarot de Marseille. Uh, I have a couple of Il Menigello's. I have the, um, oh, it's not going to say, Torocco Massiglia Svero. And I have the beautiful... Uh, La Corte de Toraki, which was um, one of my very first decks. And then at the back, we have a tarot deck, which is Pip Star Marseille style that my mother-in-law found in a second-hand shop, in a charity shop. The ancient Italian tarot, the tarot classic, which I love. That is a really nice deck. And then my husband gave me um, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black and the marshmallow tarot the uh tattoo tarot in can intuition my beautiful um hold on i just get it into some kind of uh this is the tarochi findaya dalla tour in bologna now i do not do these words justice i'm sorry but it's a beautiful deck and it's the one that I got from the International Museum in Italy for my Christmas present. Um, we have the uh, Tarot de Maria Cecilia, Triomphi de la Luna. And this gorgeous, this, well, it's a beastie actually. It's quite a chunky old deck, this. And the cardstock is really thick. Um, it's not that easy to, to shuffle. Um, but it was a little deck that I got on eBay and it's... Um, by BP Grimoire, Grim Grim um, in here we have the um, Tarot des Orques and in here we have the CBD, which I picked up this little bag in um, a shop in by the seaside. Anyway, uh, this is a shelf that I will do separately. I'll get them all out and go through them all. Um, and then this is, if you like, the for me probably the creme de la creme my new additions being obviously pagan other worlds and the beautiful rebellion but this gorgeous beauty at the back um the lion's gate is just hitting all the right notes i absolutely adore that deck and the crow tarot which has just recently literally this morning arrived um we have the anima mundi an absolute love deck the brady tarot which i love and haven't used yet we've got obviously the dark mansion tarot at the back and we have the naked heart which i love right at the very back but isn't in there it's just the box is the mariel we have the sasarabito and we have the lily white and the lily black and in here is my chamonet and this is the true black in the centerpiece, uh, a deck that I I love the artwork and wanted so very badly, but will probably end up giving to my husband in the end. I think it's a very masculine deck. Um, this is my bag tarot. All of these are are, are full of tarot, um, and again, it needs to go. I need to go through those separately, so I will do that. Um, and then underneath is oracle decks and these are ones that I'm not using so I do seem to have massed a few and the books that go with them um, and then over here we have lots of uh, books to do with witchcraft or herb herbs um, if I just move Gandalf for a minute, we have um, the Fragrant Pharmacy, the Fragrant Mind and the Fragrant Heaven, which are, are books that I'm in the processes of reading. And that's Valerie Ann Warwood. And we have um, Cunningham's Magical Sampler. We have Practical Magic. We have Wicker, Walking the Tides, um, Under the Witching Tree. I can't wait to get into these books. I haven't started them yet. Um this is the gorgeous little deck. It's just a, a normal playing card 
deck that I bought for when I did my um, course with Brada Cadabra. And I have back remedies and an armagnac and crystal books and essential oils, etc. And then here we have decks that, that I don't, well, not, not all of them, but some of them I haven't even sort of used yet. The Spellcasters is one that I got for Christmas off my son and daughter-in-law, and I, I can't wait to use that, actually. Uh, Tarot Illuminati is part of my collection, but not one I use yet. The Celtic Tarot I got in Glastonbury. The artist was there selling the tarot deck, and I was very enamored until i saw becca's review of it and i hadn't realized um i hadn't i actually hadn't looked through it enough to find some of the imagery and now i'm not sure if i'll ever be able to use it i'm not going to say anymore if you want to know more about the celtic tarot please do watch her video um we've got the lost code um of tarot which i've not used the Art of Love Tarot, another one I haven't used, the Cathar Tarot and the um, Syrian Starseed Tarot. Um, this is the lovely Louis who we sadly lost last year. Um, he was very old, but yeah, it was very sad. And, um, and then there was one. Um, and this is the Dragon Tarot, uh, followed by a second... Dragon Tarot, <laughs> followed by the Good Tarot, and a deck that I think seems to be Marmite in this community. I've neither formed an opinion one way or the other, which is the Wild Unknown Tarot. I like the artwork, so, but I haven't actually started using it properly. I have used it, but I haven't used it pro properly. This is Shadowscapes, the Czech version, because I wanted the bigger images. And that's quite hard to get hold of now, I think, as well. And this is also an empty box. This is a Circle of Life tarot because that's in a bag. And then we've got my soul cards here. And um, that was the gift, a lovely gift from Tracy from Temperance Tarot. And then moving over here, another, um, we've got a, the polka is in here. This was a box my daughter didn't want, so I, I, I took it. Um, the Arthurian tarot, but the, the deck is in a bag. Fountain Tarot, the Mystical Manga, which I got for um, Valentine's. This beautiful uh, Tarot uh, de Saint Croix is, is a lovely deck. I absolutely love that deck. Um, this is an empty box because it's in a bag, but the Tarot of the She is gorgeous. And um, I've kept the box out sort of to remind me that I like using it. We have another steampunk version. That's the other other version to the one that is more commonly known by Barbara Moore the English Magic Tarot the Tarot Basics and the Sherlock Holmes Tarot that wasn't mine that was Keith I don't quite know how I ended up with it um, the Margaret Peterson empty box because it's on my on the side we have the Housewives Tarot I did have zombie tarot but I'm not into zombies at all and that went to um, Keith and I haven't used it yet, but the little blue bird Lenormand, which I'm looking forward to using. And then moving down, we're on to, this is all my journaling stuff in here. Um, my big journal, and it's just all stacked and piled up, higgledy-piggledy. And my some tarot books as well. And these gorgeous little angel cards. I've had these forever, and I bought them for my daughter, um, and they come with a little book now. But they they didn't in those days, and I just absolutely love these, and you just pull one every day. And my, my daughters, when they were little, um, they used to love just pulling a card. They used to think it was magical, and it's... Well, it is magical, but it was just, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Look at those images. I love these cards. I must get a second set, actually. Um, these are all my tarot uh, books for that accompany my decks. I don't know why this is out, but this was me many, many, many years ago with my son when he was small for a Christmas fair. I was dressed as Snow White, as you can clearly see, and he was my Prince Charming, and he still is, bless him. Um, and then all oh, my dragon's droppings. Who doesn't have dragon's droppings? I love them. 
lavender bear um, I made him he's full of stuff full of lavender and he smells lovely these are all my actual tarot books we've got the Benabel when when the Robert M place we've got um, Rachel Pollock we've got um, this particular book I am delighted to have the tarot shadow work that's a, a real find and the kitchen table tarot and then in here at the moment because until my daughter moves out at the end of the month everything's sort of just as it is but I, I did uh, invest in the um, the whole series of um, these lovely little books that were recommended by um, Kate from Escape from the Eight of Swords, the Llewellyn's Sabbaths, um, because if you're going to do it, you've got to learn about it. And this is just a spare shelf at the moment because I haven't quite got there yet. It's going to be Myths and Legends. These are decks I'm using at the moment. This is all my sewing bits at the bottom. Um, that's all got to come out because I'm just lo I haven't got enough space. Um, herbs obviously will stay in here, but you know, my ability to crochet is zero. And these are empty boxes, um, so I'm going to take all my empty boxes and, and restack them somewhere else in plastic boxes. Um, this is Stevie Nicks, Enchanted, and this is Enya. Um, and there's my grimoire, which at the moment isn't doing very much. And my art bag. And then various books on Avalon. And what else have we got in there? Uh, Hans Christian Andersen. Books on samurai. Books on dreams. Books on the, the moonology books. Some tarot books. And a few bits and pieces that I want to get round to. Yeah, to to do to get into eventually so that is my collection and I will take a few of those shelves out and go through them in more detail with you on another day I hope you uh, have enjoyed this little walkthrough and I look forward to speaking to you very soon take care have a great weekend bye